Europe needs a new raison d'être. A new generation needs to think about what it wants to achieve. And, uh, and that's why Future Lab Europe is important, because we need to make sure that we have citizens who are thinking and participating actively uh, in the debate, rather than just sitting back and reading the newspaper. Uh, Future Lab Europe uh, is a program for uh, ambitious, bright young professionals from across Europe who want to take uh, an active part in shaping the debate about the future of Europe. Uh, and they do that by uh, meeting with policymakers and having debates, uh, both in Brussels and back in their own uh, countries. Because it's uh, 25 uh, different people from different countries, all young, that, will, that are all interested in the European matters. And um, yes, I was, I was there to, to meet new people and young people have new perspectives too. Yeah, and in this regard it's also really brilliant that we're not here with people who all study European politics or all into the Brussels bubble as they say. We're, we're from very diverse backgrounds. We have journalists here as well. We have professionals like me from fields that have nothing to do with the European Union and they all sort of give their insight. Uh, what we're hoping to uh, achieve is that by having a group of young professionals every year who come to Brussels and learn more about it and then go back to their home country, we create a, uh, an ever-growing network of uh, ambassadors of uh, not so much the European idea, but of European debate. Future Lab Europe is a project of the European Alliance for Democratic Citizenship. That's a consortium of eight different foundations headed by the Kerber Foundation in Germany. Um, it's basically a project we organize for very talented people from our networks in whom we have invested in the past already. Many of them are fellows of our foundations. Well, young people are the future of Europe and I think we need uh, many more engaged, uh, educated, high qualified people from all over Europe who understands Europe, who has this European spirit and who have met each other, who have shared their experiences and who are ready to take up leadership positions in the future. So I think this is a great project. Well, Europe is uh, uh, facing a crisis at the moment, uh, not just a direct economic crisis uh, involving the euro, but also a, an ex existential crisis because many people are asking whether the European Union is still useful and uh, whether we can't go back to the way it was before and just uh, everyone uh, going forward with their own country. And I think it's extremely important that uh, people are reminded of the fact that Europe was created for a very good reason which was to never uh, again have war in Europe. Uh, but at the same time, we also need to discuss about what Europe is going to mean in the future. Uh, yeah. We might not change the state of the Union at the moment, but what we can change is the discussion about the Union itself back in our home countries. The, the passion that young people have, we still have it, yeah, uh, it can just be used in very good like essence, I, I believe. At a personal level, um, I would say that uh, it's um, it's a it's working process. It's it helps me talking to with all these people to m make my mind about all this too. Because thinking alone is uh, to me not that as effective and as productive as uh, thinking in a group. Yeah.